In this video, we will see how Florian, the administrator of our 3D Experience cloud environment, will be able to invite a new user onto the 3D Experience platform. Invitations can be sent individually or to multiple users at once. In this example, Florian is inviting James, our CAD designer. Basic access rights can be defined when creating the invitation, like the user rights or the user location. The invitation can also be personalized by adding a message. On the second screen of the invitation wizard, the admin is prompted to select the roles that will be assigned to the new user. These roles contain the applications that the user will have access to. Additional roles can be granted at any time, as we will see in our next video. In our 3D experience environments, all the CAD designers belong to the designer user group. In a couple clicks, James is added to this group, which instantly gives him access to common designer tools. As an example, in our company, all the CAD designers must have access to the IE project space, collaborative space. As you can see, James was granted access to this collaborative space automatically, as he is a member of the designer group. Florian also created the CAD data vaulting dashboard that needs to be accessed by all the CAD designers. Notice that James inherited access to this dashboard automatically as well. User groups can be used similarly across many 3D experience workflows and applications, like project management, issue management, or for collecting validation and approvals. We just saw how the administrator invited a new platform user and added him to a user group. In the next video, we will see the tools used by the administrator to manage user licenses.